it's Sarah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well, wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is absolutely glorious. And to kind of go with that theme, I'm going to open up an advent calendar. So this is the Profusion 25 days of euphoric advent calendar. And Profusion was one of the first beauty advent calendars I opened up on my channel from like last year. So I had the 25 days to slay advent calendar. So we're gonna see, if the content is similar to last year, I'm gonna try and remember if it is or not. And we're gonna put some of this makeup on as well. I've got foundation on, but I've got nothing else on my eyes or face. I do remember from last year, there was like some primers and stuff like that. So I wonder if they're gonna put similar stuff in it again. So for those who don't know, it is 30 pounds. You can get this from Boots. Uh, I don't know about you or anybody else, but trying to find advent calendars this year was really hard. Boots in particular seem to be really hit with not being able to get the stock in the shop. So finding advent calendars to open, review and treat myself to has been quite hard this year. So I'm very, very, very excited to open this one up. I actually really like the shape of this one. Little pen, hexagon? Hexagon. Hexagon's got five sides. Yeah. Um, and I like the kind of story themed. I've not looked at the back to see, ooh, I've not looked at the back to see what's on it and I've not looked online to see what's in it. We're just gonna open it up and see what the crack is and see if it's good value. I was, thought last year's was very good value. Now this one looks like, oh no, it looks like it might have already been opened or have I just made this up? No, I've just made it up. But this is what it looks like. So you've got like a lovely galaxy theme. Do you remember when galaxy theme was like really in? I had a lot of galaxy stuff, like the black milk leggings and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'll open it up and um, at the end I'm going to put some makeup on. Or should I do it all at the same time? Hmm. I'll do it at the end. We'll, we'll put some makeup on at the end so then we can just open up straight away. So door number one. This is again hard to open up. We have, we're starting, our, starting off with a pigment. So this is... So this is a lovely bronze pigment. And I'll do some swatches on the back of my hand so you guys can see. So we've got a lovely kind of subtle bronzy shade. It has a sifter on it, which I love because it stops all the stuff from popping out. So that's it there. Then we've got day number two. Where are you day number two? Oh, all the way down here. What have we got down here? We've got something thin, an eyeliner maybe. I've already destroyed the box. A pair of tweezers. These are nice quality. So we've got a gold pair of tweezers. These look, I'm gonna have a little, open them up. I like these ones with like the slight little slant. I feel like these are a better quality. And this seems like it got a good grip, so maybe I'll give these a try and tell you how they wear on my eyebrows. Day three. We have got a pencil. Oh, this is a brown pencil. Waterproof eyeliner and it's brown. So it's nice not just to get like black eyeliner. So we can do some smoky looks with that. It's nice. Day number four, all the way over here. Lip gloss. Lip gloss? I don't know. It is a little mini lip gloss. Yes, it's in like a little nude, in a nice little nudie shade. Day five. Day five. I've got a long one here. Makeup brush, liquid eyeliner. I'm trying to think what else it could be. These are really easy to open. So what I found is with some advent colors recently is that the it can be quite hard to open. But last year, oh, it's an eyeliner. Last year they had little bits of ribbon in, so you could you could pull out the things um, much more easily. But these seem to just plop out, which is quite good. So we've got a black eyeliner. I don't actually think I've finished a full black eyeliner in years, but that's lovely and creamy and black. So that's fab. Put that there. So it's nice, I suppose. This is a nice advent calendar for maybe someone who's starting out in makeup because then you've got a bit of everything. So we're on. What was that? Day five. Though I will say, is that, 
No, no, that's fine. Day five, so day six, day six, day six. Day six. Day six. Oh, here. Lip gloss. No, the lip gloss. It looks like the lip gloss shape. Ooh, it's sparkly. I can't open these up subtly. I'll do a swatch of all the the lip glosses at the end. This is a sparkling lip topper. Seven over here. Oh, what's this? We've got a clear brow gel, which is actually pretty good because I've nearly finished my other one that I got from my glossy box not so long ago. So that was seven. We've got day eight. No, was it day eight? Yeah. Oh, day eight. This has got to be a makeup brush with the shape. And I can... Oops. Oh, don't open up day 25. Ah! Yes, it is a brush. Oh, this looks like a nice brush. Oh. It's got a short handle, which I prefer. And it's just a nice, soft, synthetic brush. This is lovely. Nice for maybe some blush. I don't think contour. Maybe blush or highlight. Yeah, it's lovely. Ooh. So that was day eight. Day nine. Day nine at the top. Looks like a lip gloss. A lot of lip glosses. And it's another lip gloss. But this one, this looks very similar to another one that we've had. So this is like a slightly... It looks quite different on camera. A slightly more reddy brown version of the first one that we had. I'm going to put these in order so I know which way they go. What else we got? That was day nine. Day ten. Oh, it's a big one. Maybe it's an eyeshadow. The eyeshadows last year were really good. They were like double panned ones. Ooh, it is a blush and highlighter duo. And this is my kind of like highlight so i'm just gonna i could probably use this as a blush to be honest so that's them there i think though nothing's ever stopped me from a uh, the, the highlight might be a little bit too deep but i could, might be able to use it as a blush but they're lovely Ooh, yeah day number 10 what comes up oh yeah 11. oh my god looks like the shape of a primer it is a primer and it is a glitter adhesive little tube remember that from last year so then on day 11 so day 12 could it be another lip gloss a lot of lip glosses so we've got a, another sparkly lip top but this one's more pink so I'm gonna put that down there so that was 12 13 up the top eyeshadow maybe gotta be an eyeshadow <gasps> Ooh, it is an eyeshadow I don't think we've got this one last year I'll, I'll dig out what I had from last year so this is a brown and a pink eyeshadow, but I want you to see, because the the pink looks a lot like that mottled Huda Beauty. I don't know if it's just me. Right, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna stick my finger in. Ooh, ooh, it feels feels interesting. And then we've got so we've got a nice chocolatey brown and then a, a, a pink shade. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna run out of space here. So we've got the pink here, and then we've got the brown. I really enjoyed the eyeshadows that came with the last last year's advent calendar. For a cheaper brand, like the quality was, I thought was quite there. And actually, this looks like maybe it could be even be a contour shade for me if um if there's no bronzer in here. So I'm gonna put the focus back on me. Thank you, Mr. Camera. So that was day number 13. So day 14, I think it's going to be another lip gloss. It looks like it. Like a pink, a different type of pink. So this is another sparkling topper, but it's a lighter pink in comparison to the one before. They look so drastically different on camera, but in real life, they're very there's subtle, subtle nuances. Then we've got, what day was that? 14, so day 15. It's all the way over here. So we've got another tube, another primer, I'm assuming. Yes. Oh no. It's not primer. It's eyelash glue. Does that mean we got eyelashes in the last one? Yeah, we did. So we've got some eyelash glue. Always handy to have. That was day 15. Day 16. Could we have another eyeshadow? No. Right, well, we've got a 
This is a shimmer highlight, and uh, I'm gonna be honest, there is just no way I could use that as a highlight. But it's nice that they've got some different shades and tones for different skin tones on here for highlight. I could probably use this as a nice eyeshadow topper. Oh yeah, that would be beautiful on deeper skin tones, but look at that. So that was 16, 17 is a long, a skinny one. So maybe another eyeliner or a lip liner. Oh, it's an eyeshadow brush. Oh yes, and it's a blending one. So I'm excited about that and it feels lovely, nice and fluffy, perfect. I like makeup brushes being added into advent calendars because it's always, because not everybody might, you know, if you, again, if you just start out, not everybody might have um, eyeshadow brushes, so I think that's really cool. So that's day 17, day 18, could be another lip gloss. There was a lot of glitter in last year's advent calendar, like actual loose glitter, and we've not had any so far. This is like a a gold sparkling topper. I like the look of these toppers. So that was 18, 19 is big. So I think this could be the eyelashes that goes with the eyelash glue. Oh, it's not. It's an eyeshadow palette. Oh, I've just destroyed the bottom, but that's all right. Wow, look at that. That's so lovely. That's definitely day 19, yeah? Yeah, 19. So we've got a full eyeshadow palette with lots of shimmers. I'll get swatches. That's what the palette looks like. So I don't know how well you can see. I think some of them, I'm just gonna put this one on here. I'm just gonna build that one up a bit more. Some of them do need a little bit more building, but lovely berry tones. And this red here has like silver flecks in it, which is lovely. Little bit of staining, which I don't mind because it just means it's going to last longer on my eyes. Day 20 is long and skinny. Maybe it could be another brush. That'd be cool to get three brushes. Oh no, it, we've got a, a pencil. This is the, wow, it's a brow pencil. Ooh. So this is like a, a to like a lighter brown. You could totally use that sit there. Obviously if you've got darker, darker brows you might you might be able to use like the black eyeliner or the darker brown it's nice that they include an eyebrow pencil it might not always work for everybody else but makeup can be put in different places so like an eyeliner could be put in your brows so if you don't have darker hair you can kind of multi-use the pencils then we've got day that was 20 that was 20 this is 21 down at the bottom we've got some eyelashes Ooh. Did I use their eyelashes last year? I can't remember. Well, I'll put them on in the video. So that's their eyelashes. Nice and dramatic and voluminous. So that was day 21. 22, I think it's gonna be another lip gloss. I think, for me, too many lip glosses. Unless it's a liquid eyeshadow. What we got here? It's a sparkling eye topper. Look at that, that's a nice bronzy uh, topper. Two, so 23. Another blush, maybe? Oh, we've got a highlight and contour. So we actually do get a contour thing. That's really good. And I feel like this is gonna be good for me in terms of the contour, but probably too dark for the highlight. So maybe it doesn't really make sense for who that's supposed to be used by. Because it's it's gonna it's too fair for some people the the contour, but this is too 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 deep. The highlight. Twenty four. We've had glitter adhesive, so maybe it's gonna be some glitter. Ooh, stars. We've got some star glitter. And then on the final day, we must have another palette. We must have another palette. We do. And it is another beautiful warm toned palette. So that's it there. Really pretty. I'm gonna get you some swatches, one second. So this is the arm full of swatches. I feel like this part feels slightly more pigmented and in particular this shade, this metallic kind of bronze, which is this one here, very creamy. Very, very creamy. Here are the swatches. As you can see, the two like kind of plain lip glosses are incredibly opaque. And then you've got some very sparkly toppers. This one, I, it's very, very, it's supposed to be a topper, but it could just be a, a, a lip gloss like a, you could wear on its own. Oh, that is stunning. 
that would be really fun for like the Christmas party for like adding like some glitz and glam to your lips but yes that is all the advent calendar opened up let me know what you think of it I'm really again impressed that it's all wrapped in cardboard it is I'm I love the Profusion Advent Calendars. This is the second one I've got and I, I'm really happy with it. You've got a mixture of obviously stuff for your face, stuff for your eyebrows, stuff for your eyes. And then you've got some sparkles and eyelashes and br bl blushes, brushes. So it's, it's a really good all-rounder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now skip to putting some makeup on. So come, come join with me as I put on makeup. It's just going to be some music I ain't going to be talking through. But uh, see you in a second. So this is the finished look using uh, this palette. It has no name, but this warm tone palette. Um, and I used the uh, Profusion lip liner from the last advent calendar and the Profusion eyeshadow base from last calendar as well. What I will say is that the lip gloss I used is not a lip gloss, it is a matte liquid lipstick. Like, my lips are matte. Which I don't mind because I, I like a, a matte liquid lipstick, but it's not a lip gloss, it is a matte liquid lipstick. Also, these stars come with a sifter a, 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 with holes in. Obviously, they are big, chunky stars, they aren't going to get through, but you literally just run your finger all the way around and it pops off. And literally, I couldn't have made it up 
as soon as I did that, I dropped it and all the stars went everywhere. But the stars are gold and silver and holographic, so they're lovely. What I will say is that they've put in two eyeshadow palettes, they should have put in like a, a instead of another lip gloss or a, a lip a lipstick, they should have put in eyeshadow primer. What I will, what else will I say? <laughs> the eyeshadow, the eyelash glue comes out quite runny and it takes ages to set. I mean, you'll have seen the struggle that I had trying to put them on. So I'm going to play around with that one a bit more. But overall, I think this is a fantastic advent calendar. If you've got £30 to spend and you want to treat yourself to £30 worth of makeup, then give it a go. Oh, right. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I've just set off my fire alarm because <laughs> I've got a big can alarm downstairs. Um, I can't remember where I was at, but yeah, the this comes off quite easily. There is some errors on the packaging. There was on last year's advent calendar, like some had names on, some didn't, and then obviously with this one, it said, you know, lip gloss, but it's a lip stick. And obviously with the eyelashes, the eyelash glue was was quite took a long time to put on but other than that this is a fantastic advent calendar well worth the 30 pounds in my opinion and yeah uh, that is everything let me know what you think of the final look let me know if you are going to get this advent calendar for yourself or someone else in your life and um yeah i can't remember what i was going to say <laughs> If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 2,500 subscribers. Ring the notification bell so you get notified when new videos come up. I've got a lot of videos coming this month. So there's lots of things to watch. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.